Hello YouTubers. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about putting a graphics card into a server. Um, multitude of reasons you may want to do this. Maybe you want to run ESXi on it or something like that and you want to have an external card that you can pass through for having a little workstation or maybe you're like me and you're just weird and you want a game on it at decent frame rates considering ultra. But beware of your power bill. Anyways. So, this is a Dell R810 that I have there with an RX 480 graphics card installed in it. The nice thing about this server is the riser card that is in it actually has a full length X16 PCI slot. So you don't actually have to cut anything or anything like that. Now, I tried it with this Fire Pro card, V5800 which is powered off the PCI bus, and the system didn't even see it. So, as far as I know, PCI-powered cards don't work. Wow, my camera's picking up a lot of dust. <laughs> Anyways. So what I did, because obviously the 480 requires external power, is I actually soldered an 8-pin power connector onto the power board, since these are available on eBay for like 12 or 13 bucks, which I never snapped that wire back on there. Anyway, the RX480 is all you can fit. This is the XFX hard swap model, which has the removable fans and all that good stuff. And as you can see, it just barely fits. Now, the back of this, I didn't remove it to accommodate the card. It actually broke when the server was shipped to me. But the server still works, and I was reimbursed $150 out of the $250 that I paid for it. So, whatever. USB 3.0 card doesn't work. 10 gigabit, uh, 10 gigabit networking interface, which one day will be hooked up to something. Has all the fans, has dual E7 4870 CPUs. I'm running a total of six hard drives in it, a single one terabyte that I use for Plex and all that good stuff. Not too worried about it. And then I have four 146 gigabytes in RAID 5, more for performance than anything else. Um, it's got dual 1100 watt power supplies. If you're going to be putting graphics cards in this thing, I definitely recommend the larger capacity power supplies. I don't believe the graphics card will tell the system how much power it's going to use, like everything else that's Dell certified does. And so the server might miscalculate and think that the power supplies are sufficient when they're not. H700 RAID card. Yep. And very poor wire management. One day I'll organize all those. That's easy one handed. My server prior to this one was a Dell 1950. Um, it was much, much, much worse on power. And the only way I could get a graphics card installed in that was with an external riser card, which limited it to an X1 interface at PCI 1.0. The R810, that is linked at X8 on PCI 2.0. So there is, of course, a minor performance hit, but it plays games like Battlefield and stuff like that decently well. I mean, that's everything maxed out on Ultra. If we do high... The FPS naturally jumps up significantly. And very, 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 very playable on these settings. Um, I've noticed every now and then the server will stutter for like half of a second in the game. But other than that, it's very, very quiet as far as servers go and uh, works quite well with graphics cards. So if you're looking for a server that is affordable, that you 
are okay with modifying and okay with soldering on, then this is a very good one to buy. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll uh, answer them as best as I can.